Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video is, should you do a boot camp or should you go to college if you wanna get into tech? So there are two different routes you guys can take, whether to get the skills to become whatever profession you wanna be, whether it's cybersecurity to network engineering to whatever you guys wanna do. So when it comes to this, should you go the boot camp route or should you go the college route? So there's pros and cons to each and uh, let's kind of cover this. So we'll start off with boot camps. So if you guys are going to do a boot camp, you have to remember you have have to pick the right boot camp. There's so many bad boot camps. Um, there's a lot of good ones as well. And really, the ultimate goal with the boot camp is to help you land a job. I mean, that is the ultimate goal, I'm assuming, right? Because there's nothing to show for at the end of a boot camp. Sure, you may get a couple of certifications, but you're not getting that sort of college degree that a college would offer you, right? Because your your ultimate goal with boot camp is to quickly give you the skills and, and give you the ability to land a job right after that boot camp is over. So uh, when it comes to boot camps, they are a bit costly. Some range from as low as like $10,000. I've seen boot camps costing well over 20,000. Uh, there's other boot camps that really do like what is known as an income share agreements um, where they basically say hey um, you'll pay after you land a job and then you'll they'll take a percentage of your salary every year or every every paycheck really which is kind of scary uh, for two years right so maybe, maybe let's say you land a job making like 80k they'll probably take like a 25 percent cut so every year you'll probably be paying some upwards of twenty thousand dollars back to the boot camp after you land the job so that's kind of the boot camp route where they teach you the skills, they give you the skills that actually matter in demand as of right now. The good thing about boot camps is they give you the in demand skills that are what our jobs are looking for as of right now, not what they're looking for 10 years ago. And they're giving you hyper focused skills on a particular area, which is whatever field in tech you're into. So that's the boot camp route. The other route is the college route. The thing with college is it is longer. It typically is more expensive, although there is now some cheaper alternatives, which we'll get into very soon. But college is a it's a bit longer term investment usually. Um, obviously now it's changed. The thing with college is you get the opportunity to talk with other like-minded people. You're in it for the long term and you learn other topics which are aside from the tech field if you are looking to stay in tech. So the thing with college is you get all the great experience you get from, you get the college experience, you get to talk with professors. Um, obviously, it's more expensive. It's more. It takes more time. But the great benefit about college is you get to really see the whole spectrum. And, and at the end of the day, the big thing is you get that degree or that college degree, which unfortunately, as of right now, the value isn't there anymore. But that is one of the benefits that you get from college is you get that college degree. And that's kind of the big difference is the boot camps help you secure a job. Uh, college degrees help you get that college degree, which can in turn help you land the job, right? So it's it's a give and take for both. Uh, I've seen people have success with either. Like I, I know so many individuals who end up going to college you know, get their, you know, bachelor degree in, in maybe cybersecurity, and then they get their master's degree in cybersecurity. And obviously from college, it's not enough for them to land a job, unfortunately, right? It, it's a it's a bit unfortunate right now because most universities aren't given the skills that are in demand right now for what companies are hiring for. So there's a lot of individuals who end up going to college and can't find jobs, right? As well as people who go through boot camps who go through the boot camp and are not able to find a job as well, uh, mainly because either, you know, the bootcamp didn't give them the right skills. Uh, they didn't give them the right, you know, place to look for positions. Or maybe it's also the fault of the person who who was signed up for the bootcamp themselves and just didn't put in the effort, right? So there's a variety of different reasons why you might not be able to find a position. But you just know that boot camps are good for certain types of people who want a job quick and are willing to put in the work. And boot camps are a lot more difficult as well because it's quick. I mean, the knowledge you're gonna be learning a lot of knowledge. And it's, it's in a time crunch, but you if you do it right, you should be able to land a job. And most of my friends who actually um, decided to go into like the software side, um, they did have success going through a bootcamp as opposed to getting the computer science degree. So it really just depends. Just know that none of these bootcamps or colleges is going to guarantee you a job. There's no guarantee in life that you're gonna get a job, right? It's, it's all dependent on the employer. Unless your dad or brother, some of your family members um, work at the particular company and they said, hey, we're just gonna hire you at, uh, you know, out of nepotism, that's the only way you can probably guarantee yourself a job. So if you if you don't have any family members who work at a Fortune 500 company, then obviously you're going to be out of luck, right? Or anyone who owns a company who is willing to hire you. So let's kind of just jump straight into this real quick and, and kind of cover the pros and cons to both. So when we go here, we have, first of all, we have boot camps, right? And then we have university or college. So both of these options are good 
right? I'm not going to say, I'm not going to tell you, and, and the, the whole point of this video is I'm not going to, I don't want to sway your opinion. I just want to share the facts from my anecdotal evidence and what I've seen other people have, have success with. So don't let this be your decision maker, right? I'm just trying to tell you what worked for me, what may work for you. So we can just go from there. So when it comes to boot camps, right? The big thing with boot camps is you have to remember is they are faster, usually faster. College degrees take longer. Um, in terms of price, this one's, a, this one's we're going to meet in the middle for price because university can be cheaper now and be done quicker now with, with a lot of these um, universities where you can do online call like WGU. By the way, I'm not sponsored by them. I'm just saying this is just what I've seen a lot of people do. So WGU is one option. Um, in terms of the skills, I would say boot camps give better skills in my opinion, because universities have a certain curriculum that may not change, right? For example, when I, when I went to university, guys, I was learning a bunch of just, first of all, I probably took like out of the curriculum that I took, obviously half the classes were what are known as like electives or pre whatever courses that are completely irrelevant to tech, right? Obviously history class, psychology class, obviously math. I mean, these classes are great to learn, but they aren't going to help me land a job in tech, right? So that's the thing with universities is they give you all these classes that you may not see useful. So I'll say in terms of boot camps, they give you better skills, but with universities now, they they are getting a little bit better, but still they are very, they're falling behind there. The good thing with university degrees is uh, college is they give you that college degree. So that college degree is, is wonderful. It's great to have. And the thing, here's the thing with degrees, a college degree, the big benefit about a degree is it's going to last forever. People still see value in it, right? In 2025, although it's like diminished greatly, people still see value in it. And that degree is going to last forever, no matter what people say. Those skills can fade away. Those skills, those skills can go away, but that college degree that you you get will forever be with you right it doesn't expire so that's one of the cool things about that now let's talk about like certifications obviously with boot camps they do help you get certifications so i would say definitely get definitely good for boot camps right um when it comes to colleges i would say in terms of what they offer i would say mm, some some do really help you with certifications some really don't wgu does a good job so i would say they definitely do a decent job with certs so i'll just put it um decent enough right now i mean this is kind of like the, the general stuff. So the question is now, what should you do? <laughs> what should you do? That's the real question for a lot of people is, what should I do? The choice is really yours, guys. In my opinion, if your goal is to land a job as soon as you possibly can, and you're willing to put in the work and you're willing to put in the effort, and you are actually serious, then I would consider the bootcamp route. But make sure you pick the right bootcamp. I'm not going to tell you which bootcamp to pick. I'm just going to tell you that you got to pick one that is highly vetted, um, has testimonials from previous students, and their curriculum is decent enough, right? And, and, and looks good. And they have some sort of placement, like where they have connection with either co some companies. They obviously provide you, they are obviously going to provide you certifications. I would say go for that. If your goal is to, to get a degree and then maybe work your way into a job somehow, I would say go to college because college, obviously, when you go to college, by the time you graduate, let's say hypothetically you go to a random university with a computer science degree, by the time you graduate, you most likely will not be able to land a job like that unless you went to an Ivy League university. And and if you're not going to Ivy League, then obviously your degree doesn't have as much value because everyone has degrees nowadays. So you're not going to be able to differentiate yourself. Another good thing about boot camps as well is they will may help you with the resumes and obviously with your LinkedIn and all that stuff, which because boot camps should know how to help their, their whole goal with boot camps is to help you land a job as soon as you possibly can. So they kind of know the, the tricks of what it takes to be able to land a job. And when it comes to universities, they're just kind of just going through the curriculum, giving you the knowledge and really they're they're just selling you the degree, right? They're not really selling you a job. They're selling you the degree. So just know that while you're in, if you are going to go the university route, just know that get your degree, but while you're getting the degree, you should be looking for work as soon as you possibly can. Like there shouldn't be any time wasting there. So that's kind of what I would recommend um, when it comes to that. So these are the options, guys. I mean, I would say they're both decent. I wouldn't say one is better than the other. Obviously there's self-study as well. Self-study is another option for some people, but like I said, whatever works for you, Right. The last thing I want you to do to, to do is to join a boot camp, spend maybe because boot camps cost like twelve thousand dollars to ten thousand dollars is to join a boot camp and not take it seriously. Because if you join a boot camp, you need to take it seriously to be able to land a job. If you don't do that, you're going to struggle. Same with university. Don't treat it like it's some sort of like playground and it's not really serious. If you're serious about getting into tech, treat it like you are not in university and you're still looking for work. The degree is just a degree. It's just to buy you time, really, just to make you feel like you're, you're, you're being productive, right? And really that's what college is most of, for most people is just to make them feel like they're being productive. Like, hey, I'm getting my master's degree. 
right? But but if you're getting your master's degree, what's your end goal is to land a job? Why are you not applying for jobs? That's that's what you should be asking yourself, right? So those are your options, right? I'm not gonna say which is better than the other. These is what I've seen. If I was starting from scratch, if I was like 18 years old, I would probably go to WGU, get my degree as soon as possible in four months right after I graduate. And then I would look for someone to mentor me to give me the skills or just go through a boot camp. That's probably what I would do, right? And by then I should be able to land a job. Um, if if you do join the right boot camp and they do give you the right skills and you and you do everything right, that that's probably what I would do. But obviously most people don't have the time. Obviously when you're 18, you probably have a lot of time, but that's what I would do if I was 18. That's probably the easiest way. And by 20, you should be able to land a job making 80 to 90k a year right which is I, I know it sounds crazy but that's easily possible even if you're 30 even if you're 40 you can follow that exact roadmap i would do it it works very well or you can do it in conjunction you can do your wgu and go through a boot camp at the same time it's all up to you and just know that what it takes it is not going to be easy but if you put in the work and you and you do it the right way you're going to be able to land a job so that's kind of the move those are the two options and uh best of luck to everyone who and ends up doing this because it is not going to be easy, but it is going to be rewarding and it is going to change your life if you do it the right way. So those are the options. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. If you guys like the video, or if you guys are going through a boot camp or whatever, let me know how it's going or going through college, let me know how it's going. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate you guys' support. Um, it really means a lot. It really means the world to me. If you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to subscribe or see more videos like this, um, I don't know if you guys enjoy the new setup. I'm trying to see if, if it if it's even worthy. So I just decided to, to finally buy a camera because I was always shooting from my iPhone. Um, but thank you guys so much. It really means a lot. And if you guys like the video, give it a like, subscribe, do what you got to do. And I'll see you guys on the other side. Peace.